Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this not supermarket simulator. This knockoff game. We're starting on the next day, day four, I believe, is what we're on. Obviously, I wasn't really paying attention. I recorded the first video. Took like two minutes before starting this one. So let's go. Let's pay some bills first. Two oh one. Twenty-two dollars for all the bills for the day. Not bad. Not bad at all. 121, what do I have to work with here? Gosh, it's so expensive to get cereal. What do I actually need? Okay, I could probably get away with one case of cereal. Boop. Um, pretty much have to do two cases of pasta. I can do one case of salt. I think I don't even need flour. Like, I'll probably get one case of it. Um, do a case of mustard, case of flour, and then potatoes. Let me just do two cases. Potatoes. And that should fill me up. That should have my shelves full, more or less. bad leaves me with a little bit of money not much good lord all right let's put this shelf up here boom boom get rid of you fill this shelf up here and then what's left we'll just put on the bottom get rid of you Flour. I didn't even need the full case, that's fine. Put that down there, I'll just have a little bit of overflow. Mustard. It's not how you properly rotate, but this is just a game, it's whatever. Cool, alright. Not quite full there, but that's totally fine. Nope, that's not what I want. I guess the other thing, again, sometimes it doesn't register properly. <laughs> okay. That should be everything. Sometimes I have to triple check myself. Alright. Put that out there. Take that tag off. Thank you. Grab my pasta. Put that one there. Grab that pasta. This one here. Put one extra down there. Put that up there. And cereal. Not quite enough to fill it, but that's okay. Uh, now we do price checks. Boom. Six forty. Yep, that's fine. Boom, 250, that's fine. Boom, 250, that's fine. 150. See, that one went down. 130. 130, cool. Now he is open. He is open for business. Hey, first customer already. That's fantastic. Trace. Boom. 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 Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Goal. I don't know if I'll be able to do it today, but the goal is to get to where I can buy the per data, buy the product license. My goodness, it's like I can't even speak. Actually, well, I've got some downtime. Let's see what all is in the product license. Should be some cooler items and some 
regular items. So we can buy more than just one box of cereal. We couldn't buy more than one thing of potatoes. Oh, lady, come on now. You're killing me. Yeah, I care with that. So I believe that some of these are refrigerated items and I think the raspberry and some rice cup, I think those are two dry shelf items. Yar. Cool. Back change, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, have a good day. So what I'm going to have to look into doing, what I want to look into doing before I buy the product license is to get a cooler, put the cold stuff in. So we go to furniture, and for a small fridge section it's $200, it's the same as the license itself. So either way I need to try and make $200 before I can really do much else. You have a good day. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> now, mind you, this is not how I actually speak to customers whenever I'm working in retail itself. This is just how I'm choosing to do this for the sake of this. I feel a little bit deader, if you will. Plus, they're, they're, there's no voice detection here, so they don't care. They just want to buy their stuff and go home. Which, honestly, honestly, that's how most actual customers are. They just want to buy their stuff and go home. They don't want to... They don't often want to chit-chat with us. Some of them do, but most of them don't. Thank you, sir. I was hoping that'd be more than what it was, but it's okay. Yes, buy a bunch of this. Yes, as much of this cereal as you can. I'm not making much money off of this other stuff. First, okay. Well, you need some flour. Okay, doing some bacon. We're at 120, that's not bad. I would like to get us over 200. There you go. Shaman. Card, 14. Perfect, thank you, sir. See speed racers on out of here. People are eating up the cereal, thankfully. That's gonna help me a lot. Those are my most valuable items. Really just the cereal? Yeah, cereal, yeah, really it's just the cereal, like everything else is three dollars or less. Um, the other thing about the game is that it, electricity is registered based on the number of items you have, which I don't think it matters if you have them uh, installed. I think as long as you have them purchased, 
uh, still registers them as being an electronic item. I could be wrong on that though. I mean, I mention it because, like, it's. It is what it is. Like, it. it you'll notice that there'll be a noticeable increase in. In bills once you start adding stuff and once you start adding refrigerators and coolers, all that stuff. Um, it definitely starts to show. 14. There we go. Okay, so we're at 220. That's good. I'd like to try to get at least one or two more people in. Get me over that barrier because I know it's going to cost me a little bit of money. Come on. I'm willing to bend the rules for you folks. All right. Help me out here. There you go. There you go. Yes. Perfect. That should do it. That should be enough to get me through. Cool. Alright. I'll do this maybe one more day. 24 customers, so there's an uptick there. Uh, now it's 232. Cool. So let's... Back up. I'm not going to buy the product license just yet. I'm going to pay my bills. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to pay my bills, but I, I need to also buy product. So, dang it. <laughs> I still have to be able to fill the shelves, that's the thing. Okay, well, let's, let's buy product. Um, cereal went over really well. Pasta, I just need one. Salt. I don't think I need to buy any salt. No, I'm good. Good on the salt. Don't need to buy that. Take off. Take. Come on. Take that off. Take that off. Um, um, one thing of mustard. One thing of flour. I don't really need to buy potatoes, but I'll go and buy a thing of potatoes. So. One, two, three. So at least this doesn't make some type of sense that you have the smallest item on top. It's not the right way you should be uh, delivering that, but it is what is. So at least I'm at just under a hundred, so that should make getting to where I want to get to more more realistic. Yep. Boom boom. Now these boxes obviously are smaller, but they are at least the same like width and whatnot. They can they're they're stable enough essentially is what I'm saying. Couple up for that. Boom boom. Cool. Now let's check prices real quick. If we keep training the way we're trending, I'll be able to buy some more uh, supplies. I'll buy, be able to buy some more um, furniture. So one of the other things that's broken about this game is that the uh, 
there's an option in furniture for you to buy a freezer. But all the stuff that should be frozen or should go into a freezer doesn't go in the freezer. Everything just goes into a, a refrigerator. Which is not how that works, but uh, fine. <laughs> Again, bootleg game, broken assets. It's whatever. <laughs> stuff at any time by the way you can order stuff like midday if you want to it's just tricky early on because it's just you there's no cashiers or anybody else running this shop it's just you also you don't pay your employees like anything which is grimy but also kind of realistic as someone who's been there before you've I, I know very well the feeling of being paid very little for working in retail. It's not fun. Well, hello there. Please buy all my goods. That's not all my goods. This, this is the shit that pisses me off the most. Uh, people will do it and it's like bro you probably got this from the bank you could have asked for a smaller denomination see like this this guy knows what's up he, he gave me exact change money wise I may go ahead and buy the fridge uh, today if I'm able to oh, wrong one boom boom because we're close we're close to getting t to 200 again thank you exact change The shelves are still fairly full. Everyone brings their own bag, which is really nice, very eco friendly. Got some type of TARDIS technology to where it's bigger on the inside. Boom, boom, boom. There's that. Oh, everybody's showing up now. Yo, y'all twinning? Alright, oh, geez, everyone's getting each other's space now. The store's not that big. Calm down. Boom. Yep. This guy's got quite the uh, thing of potatoes going on here. That wouldn't even work. 
words. Just ignore me. I'm I'm stupid. So I'm, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to buy the freezer just yet. I'll have it in my cart though. Mustard's popular today. Okay. somebody else come in. Well. Oh. I'll let a couple more people in. I'll be into rules. Three hundred actually, that kind of hurts a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so here's the end of date report: twenty-five customers, everything else good. All right, I'm gonna end this video here, and uh, we'll pick it up in the next one where I'll buy my freezer or my refrigerator, and uh, possibly see about getting that license. See you guys. Super